What's grave in the name of my little babies? Today is a new video, and that's gonna be on a new car that I have, not at this shop, at our new shop. So our new shop ended up copying it just for some videos to be filmed, a cleaner environment. This place is pretty sick. We do need this space to get cars in and out of all the time, and having a project sit here and work on it, it's just been uh, it's just been looking like an, an, uh, not a realistic thing. Long story short, as you guys know, we're building an F81 M3, and it's definitely gonna require a lot of space, and again, it's gonna take quite a bit of time, if not two years, maybe three months I don't know the time frame but long story short it's gonna take a longer time than just putting on a couple bumpers and a couple airbags in a car but speaking of minor repairs this all that it's gonna need for this new project I'm about to show you guys at this new shop um, and it's a super sick car to do it on because I've never had one of these cars and I've always wanted one of these cars and it's a BMW do not worry so I guess enough talk let me go ahead and get to the other shops so we can show you guys this new car that I am super excited for it's a super clean spec as I'm walking out guys I have to kind of show you this this is one of those rare cars it's not really rare, but it's a rare sight to see. And this bad boy is an N54 we just got in. But good news, how many miles is on this bad boy? 196,000. Yeah, that, that's a rare sight to see, boys. So this thing is absolutely meant for 190. How many miles? That's okay. Oh, this one, uh, 60,000. Oh, my bad, my bad. Yeah, so 60,000 mile N54 engine, guys, and everything looks absolutely brand new on it. Like, it looks crazy. The previous owner took really good care of it. There is zero leaks on this car, which is kind of insane. This is a really, really, really well-kept N54 engine. We're gonna have this at our inventory at Natty Auto Parts. Transmissions already sold. These transmissions on these low mileage N54s always go, so that is kind of crazy. You'd think the engine goes first, but no, these transmissions are hotcakes on these N54. Not to mention, look at this beautiful, is it called a saddle brown interior? Or it's different, like a cream. Anyone, Jonathan, you know the, is this not saddle brown, right? Saddle brown's a darker. Cinnamon brown? I think it's cinnamon brown. Cinnamon brown. Oh, it's not cinnamon. Let me look it up. <laughs> cinnamon. Cinnamon's an E46. Oh, that's E46? Okay. Anywho, it has a super nice brown sport. Heated question mark? Oh, rip. Okay, it's not heated, unfortunately, guys, it but. It is saddle brown. Okay, so that's pretty sick. We got a fold down. Obviously, it's a coupe, sport, pretty nice interior. Again, just finding a low mileage N54 that has it look like it's been thrashed. It looks really well kept. But anyways, talking about an actual rare thing, let's go ahead and get to the other shop right now and show you guys this new project. <laughs> but again, we have to get some work done in the meantime also. Yeah, we gotta get some work done, but this should be our ride to the new shop. So this isn't really the way I wanted to show you guys uh, the new shop, but basically, as you guys can see, we got a new shop here. We pretty much got it to store body panels. Body panels take a long time to sell. As you guys can see, we're on bumpers on bumpers and uh, doors on doors, but they do eventually sell. Um, so we kind of got this shop to store items that we're not really moving as much. Um, we got dashboards here as well. We actually do move these quite often, but um, they're just kind of chilling here for now just because they do take up a lot of space in the other shop. Um, and also I want to put the things in this shop that don't have any fluids. So for example, all this stuff as you guys can see has no fluids. And then uh, long story short, this shop's gonna stay clean for videos and it should stay clean for build. So that's pretty sick as well. That being said, I'm gonna talk about the elephant in the room, which is this bad boy, this 135. It ain't normal 135. I believe this is a, what's it called? The Interlogus Blue? I believe, I believe, I could be wrong. Actually, it could be, no, it's not Interlogus. It's another kind of blue but it is also an IS. And honestly, guys, the IS is the, the, the thing that's sick about IS is the fact there are N54s that come with DCT transmissions, but this one is completely different. This is a 135 2013 IS, and this one comes with a manual gearbox, and unlike the 335 IS, this bad boy comes with a N55 engine. So it is literally a completely different drivetrain than the 335 IS, but it does have the upgraded radiator fan, which is what the IS is are known for all of them come with the oil cooler system this right here this jank box and that connector over there that's literally factory the way it's designed just because you had kind of just because they had to get new connectors for the new radiator and all that stuff, that's just the factory wiring from a normal 135. So it's kind of crazy just to kind of see that sitting there from factory. But this car is a sight for sore eyes. I've always wanted a 135 IS, but I could never get them cheap enough. These cars are going for around 22 to $25,000. I love high mileage cars. As you guys know, I bought the highest mileage 435 by some of the highest mileage M3 cars. And this bad boy has 140,000 miles, 
but it doesn't look it. Now, even though the lighting in here needs some upgrades, uh, this car, the paint is in immaculate shape. The car is dirty, but it is a super clean car. It comes with two keys, comfort access package. Look at this interior. Honestly, again, lighting does not make any justice. These seats are absolutely mint condition. It has the blue stitching, which I don't know if you guys can see, is literally 135 IS specific. I was gonna swap out this interior with a red or white interior, but after seeing the stitching on the seats, I don't think I could take these seats out of this car because it's 135 IS specific. It also has the hexagon trim, which I absolutely love. Again, the manual gearbox, beautiful. And look at the steering wheel. Again, I, I'm so sorry, guys. This is the new shop and it's really hard to kind of show you guys, but this steering wheel is in really, really, really good shape. The interior is in really, really good shape. Just sitting in here, I can smell the interior. The crayon smell, if you guys know what I'm talking about. This thing <laughs> smells like it's barely been driven, even though it has 140,000 miles. Now, what's also crazy to show you guys, this thing was garage kept and really well taken care of. The dashboard right over here, for those of you guys who have 135s, will notice it has no bubbling right here on the dashboard. I have never gotten a dashboard on a 135 that we've ever flipped, sold, owned, uh, or parted out that didn't have peeling here. This dashboard is probably very, very sought out for right now, but obviously we're not parting it out because it is my 135 IS. I'm either gonna be dailying for a little bit or flipping it to help me get to another project that I've been trying to get to personally. You guys know that I've accomplished the R8 dream. I got a gated manual R8. That was one of my dream cars. Ended up selling that to start this business. So far, thankfully, we are doing all right. So God bless for that. Yeah, the beautiful wagon showing like a villain. The Porsche, I have a video soon to come on that because I don't really know what what I'm gonna be doing with that. And then we're building the F81 M3, hopefully a dream spec. So finally getting back into some BMW builds, guys. I just kinda want to update you guys here on the channel. I know a lot of things been going on. I'm trying to, I'm really trying to balance this new business life with my YouTube life. It has been very, very, very difficult. But as you guys can see, I have no regrets. I'm very, very, very proud of where Natty Auto Parts has gone so far. And honestly, I'm really, really, really loving how I'm able to get this kind of space for not only the business, but also my personal cars to do builds. And this place hopefully is gonna have much better lighting and maybe a lift we'll have to see but that being said guys let me know what you guys think of a 135 is do you prefer over the 335 is with the n54 transmission and the dct some come manual or do you guys prefer the 135 is with the n55 and the manual transmission and honestly because this is the 135 is i'm going to try to restore it back to factory spec literally in the engine bay and and cosmetically on this car as you guys can see this car did take one heck of a hit thankfully the car runs and drives perfectly fine doesn't make any clunking noise and literally drives straight which is kind of crazy considering the suspension is blown out of whack. So literally probably just need some control arms back here. That will get that fixed. It needs a new quarter panel and a door. And then I believe it also needs a current airbag, um, a seat buckle. And I think that's about it. I do have a door chilling right over there. I do have a current airbag from another 135. I do have a seat buckle and I do have a seat belt. Now we're just waiting on a quarter panel and some control arms from another 135. Trying to get another 135 through the business so I can cop it from the business to put my own business. But at the same time, get a good deal if you guys know what I mean. Hopefully that 135S is gonna be put together fairly quickly. I'm gonna try to get most of it done in one video. So the next time you guys see this 135IS, it's, it's hopefully gonna be looking a lot better than this right now. But yeah, let me know what you guys think. I also love how this is an LCI, so it's got the white eyelids, and I absolutely love this color. It is pretty crazy to see this spec. I honestly cannot find an exact same spec right now anywhere on car girls, because car girls, like 135ISs, there's way more convertibles and coupes, and if there is enough coupes, they're not for sale. People just don't want to sell them. And not a single one's in this color. So that is pretty crazy. I just realized I've been literally all over the place on this video trying to show you guys a new shop and this car. Let me go to show you guys a few things about this car if you guys are wondering about 135 ISs. 135 ISs have a few things different than it is than a normal 135. First off is this power kit that comes on all 135 ISs. This is a factory sticker as you guys can see right there which is pretty cool showing that it has a power kit on there from standard which basically has this guy and I believe a tune upgrade. Other than that it is pretty Pretty much stock. I dropped the pulling up right now <laughs> to help me uh, get some new gas for this thing because we we're completely out. I need to get this thing palleted away. But that's also gonna give us the opportunity to get this thing started for you guys. So I'm gonna go ahead and start it up and move it for you guys. But yeah, so it has that. It has the 135 IS wheels. It has a custom 135 IS interior. Because it's an LCI as well, it also has the nice tail lights on there, the LCI tails, the LCI heads. And then this thing is just an M Sport with a good paint color. Again, this is just a really, really, really solid spec for the interior other than the 135 IS right there. There's not really much else different in the seat. And I'm pretty sure I mentioned the wheels. So again, there's not really too much things that make this thing different than a normal 
normal 135, especially considering a lot of the 135 N55s come with DCTs or manuals. So this thing is just more of like the VIN itself with the power kit makes it rare, but it feels not crazy rare, but it's rare if you guys know what I mean. Let me know what you guys think of the 135 IS. Is it worth paying a $10,000 premium in today's market to get a 135 IS? Or would you guys rather spend 12 to 15 in a clean, normal 135 and just modify it? That being said, Jonathan came here to save the day, brought the propane. Shout out to you, my G. So we got the propane, got the jump pack. Let's get the 135 IS started and our forklift. And how can I forget guys, this thing has an M performance exhaust. So let me go ahead and show you guys how this bad boy sounds. So as you guys heard, this thing's stock, the way it looks and the way it sounds is honestly an amazing daily driver. Now I'm not gonna be biased. We've gotten a fair share of N55s in from auction, all with rod knock at super low mileage because they have been either abused or they've been drifted. They have an oil sump issue where, you know, basically the oil pretty much travels to one side of the oil pan when you do donuts and they end up blowing as well. I'm not saying N55s are also crazy reliable, but if you keep them stock, I think they are more reliable and that could be a biased opinion, but that's just from personal experience. That being said, while we're here, we actually did sell our F90 hood. So I'm gonna go ahead and get this hood out of here, get it loaded up onto our forklift to take it to the other shop so we can get this bad boy sold. I don't know if you guys remember what car this hood came off of, but this is the original hood off one of my M cars. So for those of you guys who are OGs would actually know which car this hood came off of. I absolutely love this car. The owner of this car now had me hold this hood for a while now for him because he has a GTS hood, so he no longer needed this one, but he had me hold onto it in case anything happened to his car. Thankfully, nothing bad has happened. I did reach out to him to see if he still needed it. He said, honestly, he saw the F81 M3 build and he said he wanted to contribute one way or another to it. He is, so he is donating us this hood. But yeah, if any of you guys can guess the car, I already gave like three big hints right there. Comment it down below, but I absolutely love this car. It's one of the few cars I've ever rebuilt that I absolutely regret selling. Uh, but yeah, for those of you guys who know, no. And this right here is the F90 hood that we ended up selling. These hoods go for a pretty penny now unfortunately because of the damage we had a market down pretty much drastically but they still have some value because some people out there that have damage on that side and know how to actually repair these hoods this is a pretty small area to repair so that being said this bad boy did sell let's go ahead get it loaded up and take it with us to the other shop you guys this is unfortunate but the forklift literally just took a dump <laughs> i was trying to go in between both units and uh it literally just took a dump now yeah, it's got propane, but the transmission does not want to go in gear, and now it's stuck on this ramp, so I'm going to have to get the truck and move it, but I can't believe this took it down. I don't even know how to fix these things, so we'll figure this out here in a little bit. John to the rescue. Hey, how you doing, bro? I'm going to need your help, bro. I don't know what's going on with this with this thing. <laughs> it's always something, dude. It's always something, bro. To be honest, bro, we need new tires on this thing because look at it. See the other one, bro? Holy smokes, look at that thing. Woo! Look at the other side, bro. <laughs> Lord have mercy, guys. Lord have mercy. 
Oh god, bro. Alright, bro, we need to get some. We gotta new order some tires. Bro. Hey, if we don't have to order a new transmission, we got money for tires. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> So guys, about five days later, back at the shop, and we have some new cars. We had an M4 we just picked up literally earlier this morning, and we have a 228i with only 30,000 miles on it. Kind of crazy. We have the lowest mileage N20 we've ever gotten now in stock. That being said, guys, I know this video is kind of all over the place. I kind of wanted to just update you guys on what's going on. It's been like two to three weeks since we actually updated you guys on the F31 slash F81 project. Um, this bad boy, hopefully, um, as we kind of go into the end of November, which we pretty much are, and then December, things are going to be kind of slow, unfortunately, because of the holidays and stuff with the business. But that means, fortunately for us, I feel like in terms of videos, I should have more time to start filming some more and getting some more work done on the F81 project. And I also picked up that 135i just because it's such a clean car. And I really wanted to actually just restore that thing as a little side project. So you guys will be seeing that here on the channel as well. And for those of you guys who follow Natty Auto Parts, you continue to see a lot of F8X part outs here. Um, just because we're just trying to get our inventory up. So if you ever need anything for the F81, we'll always have it in stock. So we're just kind of stack it up on these things. And some of these cars, like this one has some goodies they're going to be taking for the F81 M3. So instead of buying the goodies, might as well just get the, the bad boys from our donor cars and be absolutely perfect. But yeah, that being said, guys, we're going to have to conclude the video. I'm sorry for the audio quality earlier. I don't know what's going on with this microphone. I'm going to have to get a new mic or a new camera here. I mean, it's Black Friday literally in two days. So I might as well take advantage of that. But that is going to go ahead and conclude this video. Again, thank you guys so much for staying tuned. I hope this is kind of a good update and i hope i can bring you guys a jam-packed f81 video here soon without further ado guys i love y'all so much remember to stay humble i'll see y'all in the next one peace out